Hello, my name is Mark Anthony and I'm with the Aquinas. And I just witnessed a very, very informative program on meth and what it does. Right now I am talking to a captain of the Summit County Sheriff's Department who is very, very instrumental in anything and everything meth related. Captain, congratulations on a great job that you've done, first of all. Where do you feel that our biggest problems are and what can we do to help? Thank you. Um, obviously we have a, a, a large problem with meth and, and we really don't know where we're going with that yet or where we're going to end. Um, everything that we put in place legally, they find ways around it. It's a, uh, it's a big chess match. But the big thing is the more people that we can educate, the more information that we can get back and the safer the public is going to be. Um, while we're working diligently to, to rid our community of these things. Where do you feel the biggest problems are in Summit County? Here in Akron proper or outside in the, say, Stowe or? Um, you know, each, each different geographic area has its own different twist. So some of the things that we may see congregated in one area, we don't see it in another, but we see different things there that aren't um, at the other area. So. Uh, overall, we just uh, we have different problems uh, all over the uh, the community that we're working very hard. We're working very closely with each other. We're a very tight knit group um, between the Akron Police Department, the Summit County Sheriff's Office, and our uh, neighboring agencies. In all of your years of drug enforcement that you've done, what's the most spectacular case that you've seen, and what's say the dumbest case you've seen? Um, I think one of the, uh, the dumbest cases we've seen was an individual that uh, stole a, uh, a load of cocaine and was uh, ultimately apprehended over in uh, New Franklin uh, after he went on a joyride with it across the United States and, and there was uh, about 90 kilos of cocaine in that particular bus. Um, I think one of the best cases we ever saw uh, was a, a meth case that we did here. We initiated it here um, with a group of individuals who were uh, importing uh, methamphetamine from the southwest border um, out of Mexico and the Arizona area um, and uh, Mexican controlled labs in the Atlanta, Georgia area. That was and remains the largest methamphetamine trafficking case ever done in the state of Ohio. Um, when we concluded that investigation, we wrapped up three different organizations uh, very loosely connected in that whole distribution scheme. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on your successes. Good luck to you. And one thing that I'd like to ask you, what would you advise the community to do to keep vigilant on this problem? Um, the best thing to do is get educated. Um, find a seminar. Um, if you have a group, call us. We're more than happy to come out and talk to you. Uh, and your group so that uh, we can educate you as to what to look for and that will help you and will help us as well. Thank you so much for your time, Captain. Thank you. This is Mark Anthony here of the Akronis and I'm talking to Akron's super cop, <laughs> the man who is responsible for so much methamphetamines, labs and stuff going down in Akron. First of all, congratulations for the great job that you've done, officer. I appreciate it. What is it like to do what you do? How do you do what you do, what gets you psyched up to do it? Well, I took this job for a reason. Um, number one, it, it allows me to do so much for people. I, I have basically the authority to help people out. That's why I took this job, um, especially with the meth labs. It not only helps the public, the citizens, but children. So I do what I do. I get psyched what I do by enabling me to help people out, get these meth labs off the street, gets rid of meth labs, gets rid of, helps the meth addicts out, and solves a lot more crimes. People that are on drugs go out and steal, they rob, they're not rich, so they're going to go out and steal and commit other crimes just to support their addiction. So I do what I do because I have support from the police department, family, and other people. I get motivated by helping people out, that's why I do what I do. What's the most challenging part of doing what you do? The most challenging is the hours, long hours. and. Uh, it's never ending. You've seen we have over 120 meth labs this year. Yep. That's several hundred hours of time that we have to spend to go out. And obviously the dangers. I mean, when we're out there taking these labs out and, and trying not to hurt ourselves and make sure everyone else is safe, it, that's the big challenge. What's there? the most dangerous part of this job? The most dangerous job? 
All of it's dangerous. All of it? All of it's dangerous. But you don't think about that as an officer. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you think about helping people, and you got to be careful of what you do and be aware of, of what's around you. What's the biggest meth bus that you've had in Akron, and what's the dumbest one that you've had? The biggest one? I'd say the biggest one this year was out on uh, West Talmadge Road. We had a very large methamphetamine lab. It was probably going on for months, took up, up the entire yard. Um, the dumbest one, I, I wouldn't really call it dumb. I mean, they're all dumb if you ask me. Yes. But um, basically I knocked on somebody's door, asked them if I, they knew why I was there, and they said yes, because I have a meth lab in my basement, and showed me where it was at. So it was, it was quite interesting. I bet that was no challenge at all once you saw it. It's still a challenge uh, to, to get rid of it and clean it up, but it was not a challenge when uh, we found it. But it was still very interesting. How long have you been doing this? Uh, with the meth labs, uh, my first meth lab I found in 2002, and I've been actively involved since then. Do you have a rough number or anything of how many meth labs you brought down? Um, I, I don't really know personally, but I know the city of Akron's over 700 in the past 10 years. That is very, very impressive. Thank you. Keep up the good work, officer, and stay safe. All right, thank you.